Hi guys! <laughs>to introduce you to our newest addition. This is Louie and he is a rescue. I just wanted to make a quick little video about the story of how we got him and why we got him. He is approximately four years old is what the vet um, guesstimated. Um, anyways, over in the other military housing, he used to live there, and whoever owned him abandoned him. And um, that was at least a year ago, because the lady who posted about him has lived there about that long, and she said the people that lived there before her were also feeding him. So it's definitely been a long time that he has not had a home. She would see him hanging around and she would feed him and, you know, pet him here and there. And then she couldn't take him in officially since she had two dogs. And there's a rule in the military housing you cannot have more than two pets, period. Unless I think fish are allowed a certain number or something like that. But anyways, she couldn't have two dogs and a cat. It's not allowed. And then they are about to PCS, which is a permanent change of station, meaning move, to a new location. So she was worried about how he would do, you know, after she leaves. She wanted to make sure he had a home before she left. And she had checked with the pet shelters and they were full. They weren't taking any more adult cats. So she posted about him in the local military wives group. And I saw him and he just looked so sweet. And I know Justin had been talking about he missed having a cat. And, you know, we've thought about it a lot. And we were looking at some kittens that someone had a couple months back. Um, but we really wanted a male cat because I had had some female cats in the past that were not very nice. Uh, we've, all, we've both had better luck with male cats as far as them having that kind of disposition that we want. We wanted a really sweet cat. Um, so we decided to go and meet him and see how it went and he is just the sweetest. And he did really good with Cal and even the baby. And um, this lady, you know, spent a lot of time you know, figuring him out and she took him to the vet. They confirmed that he was already neutered. They made sure they made sure he didn't have a microchip. But she did not. Um, they got him his rabies vaccine again, just in case, because he probably was not up to date since he hadn't been taken care of in a long time. You know, just made, looked him over, and he's very, very healthy. There's nothing wrong with him. They were shocked that he was so healthy and also so sweet, considering what he had been through. Had, it had been so long since he had a home. She said he doesn't really have like that off switch, hi, where you know you're petting them and petting them and then they're done and they like attack you. <laughs> like he just won't do that. He will just walk away. Even when Cal's kind of annoying him, like Cal tries to play with him with his little toy. So we just felt bad for him that he didn't have a home and his outlook just it didn't look good for him. It was either you know, still being out in the wild without anyone taking care of him, which he probably wouldn't fare very well. Uh, even outdoor cats that are pets and taken care of um, by family s still have a very short lifespan. She was considering maybe having him put down, just she, you know, didn't think it was very fair. It's not a very good quality of life for an animal to be abandoned like that. It's very sad. So she just wanted him to have a loving home, you know, someone, I mean, obviously, ideally, she wanted a family that would take him and have him have a forever home. At the very least, she wanted him to have a home where they wouldn't just abandon him if, you know, for any reason they couldn't keep him anymore. So we would definitely never do that. We will probably keep him always, but it's so hard with military life, you just never know. You can't really predict the future and what's going to go on and whatnot, but we definitely have no plans. <laughs> on letting this guy go anytime soon. He's just very sweet and we just really wanted to help him out. It just really touched us, his story and, and everything he's been through and 
well, I guess forever he is, and then just really, he is so very sweet. He's one of the sweetest cats I've ever met, and especially in light of his circumstances. I'm just completely shocked at how sweet he is when he has not been in, you know, in a family in such a long time. But it's like he just remembered what it was like to be a pet and just went right back to it like it, like it never happened. Huh, baby? Yes, you're so sweet. So yeah, it just really touched our heart. We just really, you know, felt like it was a perfect fit because we had been thinking about having a pet again and he just really needed someone to take care of him. And so we just match made in heaven here. So Lou was going to be part of the Taylor crew now and he's just doing really good. He's really healthy and really happy and of course Kaladin loves him He wants to play with him all the time and Kerrigan thinks he's great. And of course, Justin loves him too. He just likes to snuggle up with us. Uh, so anyway, if you have any questions about Lou, please leave them down in the comments. If you like what you see, you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. I also have a link to our other channel in the description below as well. And links to our other social media accounts like Instagram and Facebook where you can get more frequent updates about our family. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.